Hello and welcome to the series of Microsoft Power Apps. In this video, we'll be continuing our blank application and adding content to our employee screen. Before we do that, I just want to mention a few things. Firstly, you can see the order of the items in the tree view has changed. I've moved the template and the master to the bottom and home screen to the top. The reason for this is when you go to Power Apps and you select your uh, application and you click on play, it will default to uh, the home screen, which you've, is in the first item in your uh, hierarchy. So if templates was at the top, it was number one, it would be the first uh, screen to be displayed. And the problem with that is, one, you don't want to show your, your users uh, your home, your template screen, and you also don't have any navigation, so they won't be able to do anything with the application. Another thing that's important is if you go to file uh, and you go to save, you need to save your application every time you make changes, and you also need to publish those changes. If you don't publish the changes, uh, your users won't have access to your changes. Another thing that you might want to do is click on settings and change your icon and change your icon color. I'm going to leave that on default. And another thing that I've changed is the about. So if you click on about, you can see I've got an icon for the about. So it's the information icon and I've added a label and I've added some text to that label. I've only done this for demonstration purposes. It doesn't have any uh, functionality. If you want to omit the about from your application, you can do so. If you want to keep it, you can maybe put some instructions to your users on how they can contact you if they need support or uh, any information that you want there. So let's hop, hop over to our employee screen. And if we look at our employee screen, there is no information over here. What I want to do is add a gallery. So basically a gallery is a container for items. And if you click on the plus sign and under layout, you have all of your galleries listed. So vertical gallery, horizontal gallery, and some other types of galleries. I'll leave that there and head over to the menu screen. And from the menu, you can also select insert. And if you go all the way to the right, you have your icon and we also have the option here to add a gallery. So let's click on gallery. And again, you can see we've got a vertical gallery. We've got a horizontal gallery. We've got a flexible gallery, blank vertical, blank horizontal and blank flexible. So try those different galleries out and see which one works for you. I'm going to select the vertical gallery. And when you click on it, it adds a gallery to your application with some lorem ipsum text, an image, and some more lorem ipsum text underneath. You also have a pop-up over here where you can select your connectors. So I'll select the connector and you have a number of different connectors available to you and you can select whichever one you want. Because we set up our SharePoint site in the first video, uh, we'll be using this as our data source. So let's click on there and then it once you select uh, SharePoint, it will list all of the SharePoint sites that you have uh, access to. And if you click the one that we want, uh, it will search that site, click it again, and you'll, it will list the documents and the employees list. So although we're storing documents in the documents, the employees list is, is the only real source of data that we want to be using. So if we collect, uh, click on connect and it will refresh with our information that's coming from our SharePoint site. So if we hover over to SharePoint and you look at your content, you can see this content will correspond to the information that we have in this list. Let's reposition our gallery so and expand it across the screen. And if we're clicking on it, you can see it has a number of options selected. We could change the layout and select the layout that we want. Uh, so when we added our default layout, we selected the vertical, but you could change that again. Uh, what I want to change over here is I want to uh, look at the uh, wrap count. So basically wrap count is how many columns you have on your screen. You could set this to five. And if you select it to five, you can see it's displaying five uh, different employees on each line. I want to re remove that and I'm going to change it to two because I think two is the, the best option. Uh, if we scroll down, you've got an option for template size. You can see over here, we also have the scroll bar. I want to remove that scroll bar and I want to replace it with a navigation or show navigation. And that will put these arrows um, 
you can't really see it now but if you hold down your uh, alt key and uh, hover over your gallery you'll see it will have an option to go down that doesn't look so good because the 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 both items are on either side so we've got employee items on each side so let's go back to our properties and we will look for template padding and i will change that to 50 and that will reduce the size or it will add some padding to our employees so if we click on alt again you can see it's it's more visible good so another thing that i want to do is i want to look at the position of the content in here and i want to rename our gallery it's good practice to give it descriptive names so let's call this employee gallery in this application we only really have one gallery we won't be creating additional galleries um, so i don't think it's necessary to um, give it complex names but it's good to get into the practice of naming it properly let's click on our image and let's say rename and let's call this employee image the title we will rename to employee name and subtitle we will rename to department and notice if you click on it and you go to your properties drop down and select text it's got a, a it's got some a function there that is this item dot surname so i will replace surname with department and if we select that it gives an error so let's go back to department and the reason for that is if we look on SharePoint and we go into edit this department it's a drop down so you can't just have your text of your uh, department you need to have the text of the item that is selected so if you click on department and change this item to department dot value and you can't add a small v uh, it has to be a capital v but if you look at the autocorrect and select the item it will display the department for that employee what i also want to do is add another uh, label and this will be for the employee's email so if you click department go to insert select label and it will add a label to the gallery I want to reorder this and I will move this, uh, send it to back and let's do that again. And now it's above the department. Let's rename this and let's call this email. You could call it employee email, but I'll leave it as email. And if you go to the property explorer, select text and enter this item dot email and we click outside of there you can't see it now but if we move it or reposition it underneath the image and expand it you can see it's got employee email we might have to resize a few things so let's uh, try resize our our items so if you select your gallery item and you can see it gives a uh, frame of, of the size of it. I want to make this a little bit wider or higher. And I want to move the image to the top and maybe make our image a little bit bigger. Select the, the email, move the email to the bottom. And uh, you can see when we do that, it updates all the other items in your um, on your screen. So I think just just play around with that. See see what see what works for you. Um, some employees will have longer names, others uh, not. So uh, whatever is 
best for you, for your application or your requirements. Maybe what we also need to do is increase the, the text in the email. So let's go to click on the email, go to properties, and we will change that to 15. And maybe we should do the same with HR. I can see that's on 18. So maybe we should make email the same as uh, the HR title. Just check the size. I'm not sure if it will be uh, overlapping on some items, but I, I think that is that is okay for now. So if we click on the play button, you can see we've got our employee image, the employee name, the department, uh, and the email address. If we look at the bottom here, we've got our um, button to go down and also a, a button to go up. So these, this information over here is coming from our SharePoint site. And what we will be looking at, you can notice that not all employees have a, uh, an image. So uh, in an upcoming video, we will look at uh, addressing that. We also look at addressing um, the employee's name because currently we only have their first name. And uh, those are two items we will be looking at in, in an upcoming video. Let's cancel that. I think um, let's just hold on the alt screen so we can scroll up to look at some of our, our employee images. It sometimes takes a while to refresh because these images are coming from SharePoint and I'm not sure what the sizes are, but I would recommend that you um, set the size. So what I also want to do, we didn't do that in a previous video. We didn't create an employee detail screen. So if we go down, we can click on template, uh, sorry, not template on master. And let's just du duplicate this. And uh, let's rename master one to employee detail screen. And let's move this up. Let's move it up again. And that should be fine. So if we're looking at our employee screen and our employee detail screen, basically um, you can see over here, we have our item and we also have an icon over here. And if we select the icon, you can look at on select and on select is set to select parent. And also if we click on the item, uh, sorry, the image, it's got this item image, but if we go to on select, it's set to select parent. The same with the, the other information on there. So the parent of that of the the image of the name is the container, which is the, the gallery item. So what you want to do is scroll down and go to on select of your gallery item. And currently the on select value is set to false. And I will change that to navigate open brackets, close brackets, and inside there, we're going to in, uh, we're going to add our employee detail screen, comma, tra transition, cover. So basically what that means is if you click on the icon for this uh, employee, so the, the icon over here, or if you click on their name or the image or anything within this item, it will redirect you to your employee detail screen. Let's test that out. So if we click on play, we have our employee list over here. I can click on the image. It will go to employee details. Not, there's nothing in there at the moment. We can add another icon to go back. We can also click on home. And on the home screen, if we click on view, it will take us through to our employee details, or our employee screen listing all of our employees. If we scroll down, uh, you can see all of our employees who are listed there. I'm not so happy with the, the images. I think uh, we can we can improve that a bit. So in the next video, I'll be looking at improving the image. Uh, so uh, making it into a round image. I'll be looking at um, displaying a default image if there's a missing image for, you, for your employee. I'll also be looking at uh, the employee name. Oops, let's go back. 
I'll also be looking at adding the employee name. So the employee name will be surname and name. We'll be using a concatenation function for that. And uh, yeah, that's what we'll be looking at in the upcoming videos. Let me know what you think and uh, I'll see you in the next video.